This is a video by Richpin. Today we're taking the dashed cluster out of a Gen 1 Saturn. First you need to remove these little covers over here in each corner, little plastic covers, and there's two 7 millimeter head screws, one on each side. Now once you remove those on this top dash piece, you can just pry up on it. And there's clips underneath here and hold it on. And just pull back on it. Next we need to remove this plastic piece right here. It's clipped in place. So just unclip it. And there it is. Next we need to remove this cover right here over the cluster. It's held on by four 7 millimeter head screws right up here. There's one here, 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 and way over on the left. Now, after you get those screws out, open the glove box cover here. And just grab a hold of this piece and pull back. There's clips. There's the cover. Now we've got two wires from the switches we have to remove. Now to remove those two wires underneath this panel, there's a little green lock right here. Just pry up on that lock, get that out of the way, and then there's a little button right here. Just push down on that, and that piece will come right out. That's how you get those two wires out. Now to remove the cluster you have two 7 millimeter head screws on this left side and you have two 7 millimeter screws on this right side. Remove those. Now once you've got those screws out you can pull back on the cluster enough to remove the wires here. Now to take the wires off the back of the cluster, just push down on this little retainer right here. There's two legs, and then there's one on the bottom here. It's very difficult with one hand. I didn't have to hold this camera. Let's see. There we go. It's all out. Now that the wires are clear here, we can take the cluster out, and there it is. She's all out. And that's all there is to taking out your Gen 1 instrument cluster.